and welcome back to Ride Rescue. Well, I was just really thrashing for about two weeks to get this truck ready for a camping trip. Uh, it wasn't finished, but it was finished well enough that I could get it licensed. One thing I knew that wasn't working was the cruise control. Uh, pulling this trailer, this trailer weighs about 3,500 pounds, fully loaded. I was probably had another four or 500 pounds in the back of the truck. The truck towed and handled fantastic. Very impressed. Plenty of power. I didn't have a lot of wind resistance, so I think we did pretty good. I got 15 miles to the gallon towing, which overall I was pretty impressed. We had some pretty steep climbs. It dropped down to about seven miles to the gallon on the steep climbs, but then it would go up to about 20 miles to the gallon going down the other side. So camping is just one of the reasons why I wanted this truck. We also have a family cabin. We had the bark beetle in a couple of years ago that just decimated the forest all around us. And on our upper lot, we lost probably a hundred trees to bark beetle. So I have a lot of trees that need to be cut down. In order to get up to the cabin, there is about a 15 mile dirt road. Uh, the dirt road most of the time is graded fairly smooth, but a lot of the time it gets pretty rough. That's one thing I'm very disappointed in this truck is these big, wide, smooth tires. Uh, they're an all-season tread, but they're absolutely horrible on the dirt road and even on a wet surface. I'd like to be able to take the truck up to the cabin in the winter, but there's just enough snow. These tires, I don't think I'd be able to get very far. Uh, last weekend, we went up to the cabin in my wife's SUV, and it was about three, four inches of snow, hard packed, some icy spots. SUV was fine. Did a wonderful job getting up to the cabin. But I didn't trust being able to get up with the truck, so that's something I need to address. I'd like to change the suspension in it a little bit. It's got a sport suspension. I don't know if I really want to change it that much. Maybe raise it a little bit. Maybe lower it a little bit. I haven't quite decided yet, but tires and wheels, I, that's another thing I haven't decided either. I love the 22 inch wheels, but those really shallow sidewalls for that low profile tire, I just don't think it's going to be able to work on this dirt road. I need to be able to lower the tire pressure down. I dropped it all the way down to 28, 30 PSI on the dirt road, and it doesn't make any difference if it's 45 or 30. They just don't have the sidewalls, so it, it's torturous when the roads get really rough. Maybe I'll just switch over, uh, have some sport tires that I can use when I go camping and run around town, keep these big wheels, and then swap out for the, for the country road and put something that maybe is a 16-inch wheel and a, a wider sidewall, more aggressive tread. So in the next episode, I plan on fixing the electrical issues. The CD player still isn't working. I've got to look at the electric brakes, and I definitely got to fix that cruise system. So watch for that in the upcoming videos. I also want to do some mods. Uh, I want to do a spray-in bed liner. I uh, need some kind of a anchoring system for the truck. You can get a slide anchors that go, that mount along the sides of the bed. So just a brief rundown on cost. I paid $18,000 for this truck delivered to my house. I bought doors and front bumper from eBay. I had a budget. I was hoping to keep under $10,000 on fixing this truck. I really wanted to keep the overall cost under 30. I just squeaked in right at 30 once I had all the tax, license, registration, everything done on the truck. Yeah, I still have a few more things, but that was my goal and I was very fortunate I hit it. So just a quick rundown, $18,000 for the truck delivered. I spent a couple thousand dollars on used doors, uh, about $500 on a used front bumper. Everything else I bought from Mopar. I was able to find out online that I could order the parts from Mopar online, have them delivered to the local dealership, and save a good 15, 20%. So you can buy them wholesale, have them delivered free to a dealer and then I could pick them up. So I saved a lot of money that way. And the parts from Mopar are really quite reasonable for these trucks. Thank you for watching my video. Do me a favor, hit the subscribe button. I really need your support that way to keep growing my channel. 
like I've said before, I hope to teach, I hope to inspire, I hope to learn. Thanks again for watching. Keep an eye out for future videos and especially keep an eye out for my upcoming new project. I'm really excited about it.